Hello my friends and welcome back to new video. I'm Mohsen and in this video I'm going to show you how to use lazy vertical grid. In the last two videos we learned how to use lazy column and lazy row. But when we want to have more than one item in a single row, we cannot use them anymore. And we have to use lazy vertical or horizontal grid. Let's check them. <laughs> Let's start with adding a lazy vertical grid. Here we have columns and the content. Let me pass the columns to the next row. And we don't need the content. Let's check if the features. Okay, here we have uh, columns with a type of grid cells, modifier, state, content padding, and etc. Okay, uh, for having items, we need to use uh, grid cells. I cannot give directly a number here as the number of columns. So we have to use such function. Uh, grid cells. Then we have two options, adaptive or fixed. I will show you both of them, but let's start from the fixed. And then here uh, we need uh, integer num. Uh, in this case, I'm going to write three for now. And here. In the last videos, I showed you how to use the items function. And here I'm going to pass number 200. And in the return, it will give me uh, numbers from 0 to 199 uh, in the reader function uh, variable. Let's have a text here and here it dot question. This it is the return function uh, variable. I think it's ready for the first test. Let's Check it here. Okay. Here we have now uh, three columns, and as you can see, number zero, one, and two uh, in the first row, then three, four, five, just like this. And if I change it to, for example, five. We will have like uh, five columns now. You can see the change. Okay. Uh, the next thing that we can use is content padding. Adding values. And here, for example, 16.d. Let's see the result after the rendering. Uh, now you can see we have padding all around uh, the uh, lazy vertical grid. Okay, uh, let's uh, design a layout for it and uh, pass uh, the data into the layout uh, to have a better look. Here, instead of this text, I am going to write a function, my card, for example. And here I'm going to pass some date. First is it. And uh, modify. Now let's create the function. Okay. The type of uh, it is integer and uh, modify. Okay. I'm going to increase the speed of the video. Uh, creating the layout. Then I will explain it to you.
Okay, here I have a card uh, with uh, 10 dp elevation and uh, background color white. Inside it I have a box, alignment center for the content. I have a text and this it variable dot to string is the text of the text and the font size is 22 sp. Okay, this is the result of this layout. And here if I change it to, for example, 2. You can see the differences. No. Now I have two colors, just like this. Okay, that was the uh, fixed type, and now let's change it to adapt. When we want to give a number, uh, for example, two uh, column, three columns, uh, we are using the fixed. But when we want to use the size, uh, we use adaptive. How? Let's show it to you. 75 dB. Okay, look at here. The minimum size of uh, each uh, item can be uh, 75, not less than 75. And it will uh, start filling the row with 75, 75, 75, 75 until uh, the row will be full. Then it will go to the next row. Uh, so uh, if for example, we have an uh, area for having like half of the items. Uh, we will not have here a uh, half item. It will be divided into other existing item. And let me change it, for example, to 100. Okay, now I have three items here. Maybe size of each item is uh, 110 dp or maybe 120 dp, but it cannot be less than 100. So uh, the whole row will be divided between items with minimum size of 100 dp, just like this. Uh, and now let's have random colors uh, on the uh, card here we have the color dot white i'm going to delete this dot white having parentheses here and inside it we have this option having uh, three plot variables for red green blue and then alpha to create a color by ourselves uh, if we give random, I mean this one, sorry, the first one. If we give random numbers uh, as the float for the red and green and blue and the alpha, uh, for each cell we will have a different color. Just like this. Random dot next float and duplicate it by pressing ctrl d and 1f alpha now we have uh, different colors random colors i mean for each cell and uh, that was everything that I wanted to tell you about the lazy vertical grid. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do it right now and uh, hit the bell button to be aware about the new videos. Give me a thumbs up for this video if you like it. And if you have any 
suggestion any question please write down in the comment box the source code are available uh, in my github link down below in the description thank you very much have a good time bye bye